Hello, welcome to Thursday, day 52 in the conservatory classroom. It is unbelievably sunny and it's quite hard to open my eyes. Um, so, adding money. Now, before we start, on the blog, there's four worksheets. You don't have to do all four. Do the nine questions and then choose either one, two or three of the spider pictures. Once you go on the blog, you'll understand what I mean. So, adding money, like we looked at yesterday. Oh, that pen's much better. Key features, 100 pennies, one pound, 1,000 pennies, 10 pound. Like we said, you put your decimal point in behind the one, you've got two zeros, two zeros, two zeros, two zeros, decimal point in the middle. Um, we're going to look at, now there's a range of ones, so we could just say 42p add 31p. That would be a nice simple introduction. Like always, when we are using addition, we'd column it up. 2 add 1, 3, 4 add 3 is 7, 73p. But we're going to challenge it today. And we are going to set things like seventeen pound and seventeen pence plus twenty one pounds and thirty six pence. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get down on my knees because I'm running out of ball space. Same way, column edition, but I'm going to put my decimal point in but it really doesn't matter when I'm column addition in so um, 7 add 6 Kirsty 13 good guess bring the badger down here 1 add 3 is 4 add my other one is 5 I'm going to put my decimal point back in 7 add 1 8 2 add 1 is 3 £38.53. If this goes over so you have to exchange it, do it just exactly the same as I've done. You're always carrying, um, carrying along the bottom. Just keep your decimal point two numbers to the right of your decimal point and you'll be fine. I'm off to give our history work a crack. We'll see if that works. Who knows? And apart from that, stay safe, enjoy the sun, and I'll see you later.